Ha 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 we have a new 3D printed gun. Yes, it is the Thorn. So we printed this up, took a little bit of a while, but yeah, we've got it printed up, we'll get it shoved together. Now this gun actually looks really cool in its proper colours from the game, but I had some 3D filament there that was glow in the dark and didn't want it going to waste and turning brittle, so decided to see, since I'd only used the roll for one little thing, I decided to see if I could get the rest of it to do the gun at 70% infill, so it was solid, or pretty much near full solid, but yeah, so we get this stuck together, and we'll see how much it actually glows in the dark. So we'll sit you down over here, and then we'll get set up. Okay, so we're going to take the front part of the gun with all the jaggy bits sticking out of it. We're going to take the middle of the gun, so the spikes down here, this is towards the trigger. So it will go together this way. And they just slot together and clip into place. How cool is that? Well done to the creator of these files for adding these in, that is wicked. Right, so next up will be one of the sides so it'll be this side here now we do have a trigger in here and we still have a hammer installed so it's probably best that we just get this side on and into place now the trigger as you can see clips on just a little pin down here simple then we have the hammer the hammer goes on to the top pin and what we need to do now oh it would help if I was showing you that stuff eh? right there we are right so trigger goes on the lower pin down here and the hammer goes on the higher pin we'll have an elastic band coming from here over this little notch inside which I snapped out the first one I made because I thought it was supports <laughs> right we'll get a band Right, so, we stuck the band in over the groove, both sides of the middle, to leave us two loops. Hopefully this is right and it's not going to be too difficult. But these two loops need to be held on this pin that's left over. Just look over that, and then the other side. Right, they're held into place. Now we shall get the other side on. Oops. Trust me to rush ahead. Don't do that. You need to install your pin and stuff, so. We need to get our plate here that's going to go in place we, uh, feed the pin through and then stick it back in its location making sure that the hole on this side is facing in the way I suppose before we do that we may as well get our barrel and bring you back out a bit and bring the barrel and we've got to try and fit the smaller pin through so it's going to be like having a game of bingo <laughs> so yeah I'll cut to it when I actually get this pin through that hole okay it wasn't really that hard if you've got kind of big fingers like mine you can reach down inside and just press it straight through and voila so I'll keep a finger on that and put the plate straight onto the pin. Yeah, it's tough. Very, very tough. It might have shrunk quite a bit. At 70% density. Yeah, I think I'll get something else to go down inside there and press that in a bit deeper. I got what I didn't want, it pressed right in, but yeah, it's it was a bit tighter than that, so it's freeing up. I'd rather it not spin totally free than be wobbly, so yeah, that's good. Right, we get our pin, 
We shove the pin through from the back, leave it overhanging a bit so it sits into place. The head of the pin should just fit down inside of the case here. And then we place the other part on, making sure everything's lined up and not getting stuck. Right, now we get the handle. Oh yes. Oh yes. Now that is a monster of a gun. Absolute monster. And of course, the barrel opens up now. We have the bullet with the emblem on it. Stick right in there. Oh yes. The Thorn Hand Cannon. Now, we need to try and charge this thing up with light and get it in darkness and see how much it actually glows up. Well, that should be good. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, so good work from the creator over at Thingiverse. That's where I got the file from. Absolutely wicked. I printed mine on the Creality CR10S 3D printer. Uh, 0 0.2 millimeter layer height. And this was 70% infill. And since then I've been exploring 10% infill. And even 10% infill is good. So this is uh, over overkill for what it is. It's got to be getting hung on the wall as a model. I might even, just because it looks so bleak like that, I might even paint it. But anyway, let's get it charged up and see how it looks in Glow in the Dark. Now this stuff here is Glow in the Dark Blue by Amolin. I will leave stuff in the link in the description and stuff of this actual. I got it and didn't expect it to be as bright blue as it was, but I tried making a little elephant. And I checked that out and that was glowing really good, but that was really, really thin. So it'll be interesting to see if this even glows being so thick or if it glows really good. So let's get it charged up and take a look. Okay, we're giving this a charge up with the Parkside light. It is an absolute peach. It'll help just get a bit of light into it and I'll get set up, turn the other lights off and get ready to show. Right guys, here you go, look at that. Now that is the best glow in the dark I've seen yet. That is wicked. Even the bullet, look at that. It's depleted uranium. That is cool. Absolutely cool. It's like some predator kind of gun. Look how bright it is, that is mega bright. The company is Amolin, or Amolin. I'll put the link in the description with the proper spelling. I know Scottish is hard to understand. But that is an absolute peach. I was worried it was too bland being white, but the fact it does that, that is insane. Absolutely insane. So I might even get away with painting some parts on it, and it's still glowing in the dark like that. So that is awesome, look. Wow. Yeah, definitely cool. So come on guys, we're looking for subscribers here. It doesn't take much to hit that little button over there. We'll have tons of these. Loads of new builds, loads of weaponry. Woo! There we are, back in the room. It looks good. So definitely the glow-in-the-dark filament from this company especially. It's tried, it's tested and it works perfect. So yeah, link will be in the description for the specific 3D filament. And of course the links to the file of the creator who made this. It's absolutely awesome. So if you're going to take the files, please leave a like. And if you like this kind of thing, please do leave a like on the video so I can see how interested people are. Because I could make these all day long forever. So yeah, let's get on. We've got another fancy gun coming soon. So we'll maybe see about getting a picture of that up early. 
So bye for now, guys.